All right, we got a new project here on the channel. We're gonna be working on this go-kart. Uh, I bought this frame from a local junk shop and uh, I thought it had everything involved with it, you know, except for the engine, but uh, I was mistaken. When, when I brought it home, uh, it needed, the wheels are kind of messed up, at least two of them, and uh, the rear axle was bent. Um, well, I say it, it must have broken the past and they re-welded the, uh, the gears on there and the gears were just uh, welded on, not straight, and so it was wobbly and it wouldn't hold a chain. Uh, so right now I'm gonna be uh, working on this. This is a Manco Interceptor uh, go-kart. Um, it's kind of a, I guess you'd say an entry-level one. It's pretty old, but um, I think it's time to get my kids you know, upgraded from power wheels and more to an engine-powered system uh, so they can ride around in the, in the field. Uh, we have that mini bike that I built a few episodes ago, and uh, they use that quite a lot. But now it's time to have a, a second uh, toy that they can use in the in the orchard and driving around, and um, you know, so they could they could play together with with these things instead of one on the power wheel and one on the mini bike. So we're going to be working on this. I haven't built one before, so it's going to be kind of a learning process. And um, I appreciate if you guys would follow along with this one. Thank you. All right, so I got all the equipment that I purchased for this build. A uh, lot, lot with uh, with this build is that it's kind of a surprise. Uh, I bought the frame itself and thought it was pretty good and uh, just kind of a rolling frame needed an engine and I was mistaken with uh, taking a closer look at the axle itself. The, the sprocket and drum had been welded on to the, to the uh, axle and it was welded crooked so it was like wobbly every time it would do a revolution. So I had to get a new Sprocket, well since it was welded on, had to get a new axle. The axles are held in place in the frame with some bearings. And I'll show you the old bearings right here. And uh, you probably can't hear that, but it's just a bunch of trash in there whenever they're uh, rolling. So it's, it's quite old and messed up. So I got some new bearings. And then I got a throttle cable because the old one was missing. Got a um, clutch two six inch wheels uh, the tires haven't come in yet but this is a little bit of an upgrade with the original the 212 predator engine and some spray paint and the number 35 chain so uh, this is kind of the basic uh, stuff that I bought for it I think it was uh, maybe with the engine maybe two hundred dollars total uh, so with buying the frame and this it's almost as cheap as just buying a used one on Facebook or something but uh, where's the fun in building it? <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so this is the, the equipment we're going to be using uh, to kind of get this, this uh, go-kart build started. Uh, next step is to um, clean up the frame itself. It's kind of, uh, kind of a mess. Clean it up and then spray paint it, and then we'll start um, putting this all together. So I'm, I got some last little things to take apart on that, and then uh, we'll go clean it up. So let's get started with that. So here's a close-up of the frame itself. You can see not much to it.
got the axle on. I don't know if you can see, but one of these uh, bearings here, let me get one. It's supposed to go in right there. However, when I bought the axle, they had this stop welded onto the axle. And so it, when you push the axle through, it pops this out. So I don't have one of these bearings on the inside right here. I have one right here on every other part of the tube, but I don't have one there. I don't, I don't think it's the end of the world, but it would be best if I could put it on there. But for some reason they welded that stop on there and I can't get it off. So I've got the uh, sprocket and drum on here. Uh, this, this fits both a three quarter and a five eighths uh, axle. So I have the the spacer and the, the key put in there. And now I'm gonna put this stop, this just comes in two and you know, take an Allen wrench and uh, secure it. So that's going to um, keep this sprocket from sliding back and forth. So I'll get this put on here. You can see it doesn't quite line up. The sprocket on the bottom is a little too far that way. And I don't know if I could probably cut some more holes in the plate here, but they're already kind of close to the edge over here. So I think I'm going to try to slide the sprocket, kind of loosen up this stop here and slide the sprocket to the left some to try to account for some of that. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll bring you guys back along when I've got it all lined up. A couple of things <clears throat> that I'm noticing is it's still just a hair too far this way the motor is so I'm gonna uh, uh, take out more of the um, the mounting holes in the, into the frame and that even when I slide it all the way forward it's still a little bit too loose so I'm gonna uh, just drill out those holes a little bit more and then try to slide that motor over I mean it's just a couple of millimeters and I think it'll be perfect I could raise it up on some washers. I may do that as well, uh, just to, to take up some slack so it's not slammed all the way forward. So um, anyway, I'm gonna take, take this motor off and start uh, drilling out those uh, mountain holes and then uh, we'll get it back mounted. All right, so let's get this started. Got it all hooked up, got the axle hooked up so uh, chain on let's see if we can get it uh, started here so I got the fuel on choke and on All right, so she runs and works pretty good. I think it's probably gonna be hot. So um, right now I've got the the engine and axle put together. So there's quite a lot still to do. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I think so. I think what I'm gonna do ne next is I'm gonna get the uh, rear tires put on when they come in the mail, and uh, and actually. 
Yeah, I need to do that because the axle's coming off with that bearing. When when you put the tires on, it'll hold it up against the the bearing there. So I'll go fix that first. Um, then I have to put all the whole front on, you know, the front knuckles and the uh, the tires and wheels and the pedals. So I gotta uh, fix a few of those, kind of spray paint them, make them look pretty. So next video is gonna be the finishing touches, I think, and then we'll get to driving it. But this one I wanted to show the the go kart itself the frame and kind of the, the business end of it all hooked up. So there you go. Got the, uh, the engine running, the axle put together. So now it's just the finishing touches. So thanks for uh, watching this video. This is a quick one. We're going to do, uh, hopefully finish this up maybe next weekend when some more parts come in. But anyway, uh, if you would uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel, there'll be more of this kind of projects coming up soon. Appreciate it.